What's going on, everybody? Welcome to U.S. Football Forum, where football is king. Today marks the second installment to our series that we're calling Who Is? Who Is is a series where we take a deep dive on some of the rising stars within the XFL and get a rundown on their background, where they came from, what makes them tick. This here is gonna be a banger. I'm super excited. The research on this guy was super incredible and his story is one that can impact millions, man. So, who is Kenny Robinson Jr.? This one will be quick, okay? Let me let me get started. He's a headhunter. The end. Good night, everybody. <laughs> no, seriously. If you saw the February 9th XFL game this season between the St. Louis Battlehawks and the Dallas Renegades, you have already witnessed a Mario Bullet Man running around the field, bodying renegade offensive players. Number 23, Kenny Robinson of the XFL Battlehawks is a freak of nature. But how did he get to the XFL? Where did he come from? Who is Kenny Robinson Jr.? My greatest hope regarding the future rests on the mistakes I've made in the past, for those are the most effective things I've got to build with. This quote is from Craig D. Lonsbro, a certified professional life coach. This quote epitomizes the life we live as humans in this world, where none of us are perfect and are all susceptible to mistakes. Looking at the life of Kenny Robinson Jr., while he's a phenomenal athlete, he is also prone to making mistakes like we all are. The thing is, what can one do when a mistake might end the dream you have always had? Kenny Robinson Jr. is still writing his story. But first, we must know where Kenny came from in order to see why he is where he is today. Kenny Robinson Jr. started his high school career as a freshman at Central Catholic in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He soon transferred to University Prep, where he excelled as a wide receiver safety. As a sophomore at University Prep, he had 31 receptions for 593 yards and eight touchdowns. The man was eaten. His junior year was a down one as he suffered a torn tendon in his right calf, which caused him to miss six games. He decided to transfer to Imani Christian for his senior year, stating, I'm not transferring for athletic reasons, so I'm not that worried about it. He continued, I want to get a better education. I want to get a better SAT score, and I want to have a better relationship with God. Very admirable, and a ton of respect for the young man for wanting to have a better self-spiritual and education and all that, but I can't find any stats on the SAT score. And while I'm sure his relationship with God is a lot better, I couldn't find anything on the internet with that. But um, what I did find is what this man was doing on the football field. Let me let me let me explain. This man had a laundry list of football-related accolades that he racked up for his senior year. They basically gave Kenny the reins to the team and said. Go do something great. Kenny Robinson played quarterback, wide receiver, and defensive back. He finished his senior year with 2,150 passing yards, 1,250 rushing yards, 18 touchdowns, had 18 receptions for 287 yards, and only had three interceptions. Hmm. He threw for 448 yards during one game against a Frazier team which made for the seventh most passing yards in a Western Pennsylvania Interscholastic Athletic League, or WPIAL. This made history. And I really feel for the team that had almost 450 yards thrown on their heads. From that point forward, as a parent for any child that went to Frazier, and this is, this is no disrespect for Frazier, Frazier High School or Frazier Academy, wh whoever they were, I'm taking my son off the team I'm giving him a bat and a ball, and we're going to play baseball for that spring. We're done. Like, go turn your stuff in, meet me in the car. We're done, done. Kenny also won a WPIAL Defensive Player of the Year, was part of the All-State First Team as a DB, and was Pennsylvania's All-State 1A First Team DB. Man. Whew. Kenny Robinson Jr. was an absolute weapon in high school. Multiple schools took an interest in Kenny, including West Virginia, Iowa State, Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, and Temple. He decided to attend West Virginia as a safety. The 6'2", 195-pound safety only played for West Virginia for two years 
with a career total of 84 solo tackles, seven interceptions, two touchdowns, and one fumble recovery out of 25 career games played. While attending West Virginia, the sophomore defensive back was truly making a name for himself and was already hitting some NFL draft board projections for his upcoming junior year. So the quote that I mentioned earlier about mistakes being made and us all being humans and susceptible to mistakes, yeah, that's when it starts to take effect. Kenny's unfortunate rise in career would come to a sudden halt after he violated West Virginia's code of conduct. Due to this mistake, he was removed from the team. So in many cases, this left a black eye on the opportunity Robinson had to continue his stellar collegiate progression to eventually reach the NFL. He would consider entering the transfer portal to potentially attend another institution. But in the summer of 2019, Robinson participated in a Washington DC XFL tryout, signifying that he was considering the option of foregoing his last two years of remaining eligibility to play in the XFL. Kenny Robinson would make this decision official after becoming the first player with college eligibility remaining to enter the inaugural XFL draft. Robinson would also be the youngest player in XFL history to enter this XFL season at 21 years old. We will still have to see if Kenny is going to make lemons into lemonade out of this first season in XFL. Now, it's pretty easy to see that wide receivers don't want no smoke with Kenny Robinson Jr. You come across that middle, you're going to see him. You go across the sideline, you're going to see him. You run and get a cup of water out of the Gatorade cooler, you're going to see him. Week one of the XFL has already proven to show that Robinson has had no problem solidifying himself as a player to watch out for. He definitely wants to prove something to those who still have their eye on him in the NFL. Robinson told Andy Staples of The Athletic, now they can see how I hold up mentally and physically. He goes on to say, They'll see me playing against guys who have actually been in the NFL and done it. Me personally, I cannot wait to see what Kenny Robinson Jr. does this year in the XFL. His story is already panning out well in showing your mistakes don't stop your dreams unless you allow them to. And it also takes a bit of luck for opportunities like the XFL to appear when it did. So guys, I hope that you got your popcorn ready for a fantastic season. And let's continue to watch out for Kenny Robinson Jr. Let's continue to see what he does going into week two, week three, week four of this XFL season. I pray for his safety. I pray for his health. And I hope that he can really turn his mistake around and make it a big time move. He's also making history. Being this young and not returning back to college, it can either be a big mistake or a big W. We'll just have to wait and see. Thanks for listening, guys. This is U.S. Football Forum. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you love the content. Stay tuned for the next Who Is, and I'll see you all in the next video. God bless.